After decades of violence, a smile returns to the land of the legendary Afghans. Winds of change are sweeping across Afghanistan. It is time to relish hard-won freedom, time to rebuild and regroup. Beneath the fun-loving Afghan lies a determined resolution to excel. No wonder the Afghans are reaching out to embrace new ideas. A new chapter in Afghanistan's history is ready to take off. Rubab, the soul of God, was banned during the Taliban regime. The soul-stirring music sings of change. Hope flies high to touch the sky. The status of young girls is changing too as they return to the classroom. Amidst all the changes, pride returns. The pride to be an Afghan. The very structure of education had collapsed during the previous regime. Now a massive reconstruction of the system is underway with international cooperation. Women's education is receiving special emphasis and the new Afghan woman is beginning to emerge from behind the veil to prove her worth. Indeed, General Khathol has emerged as a role model for the rest of the Afghan women. Empowered by education, women have entered all spheres of developmental work, including media. Aina has seized the opportunity to take the lead to develop an independent media in the country. It has trained a fresh breed of media professionals who have the courage to capture the new social reality. Trained by Aina, Maharia Azizi is the first camera woman of Afghanistan. Unafraid and focused, she is forever committed to truth and justice. I bring the reality with my camera without any fear or favor. This is the greatest achievement for me in my life. Communication is the key to development. Realizing this, Afghanistan has taken the timely initiative to build the telecommunication infrastructure. آماده سازی نصب و مونتاژ سیستم جدید مخابراتی در 365 ولسوالی افغانستان آغاز شده که به این ترتیب افغانستان صاحب یک شبکه بسیار مدرن مخابراتی سراسری در کشور ما خواهد گردید. World leader in the telecom sector, Alcatel is actively involved in developing the necessary infrastructure in Afghanistan. The Paris headquartered company provides the local operator Roshan with a major quality mobile network covering main cities in the country. Indeed, telecommunication has touched the life of the Afghan people in many ways. With an expanding network reaching out to all corners of the Afghan society, mobile communication has contributed in reuniting the fragmented nation. The change can be seen not only in Kabul, but also in more remote places around the country, including Mazar-e-Sharif. The mobile phone has changed the face of Afghanistan. تکنولوژی و یا موبایل اند لندن به آن واحد تماس میگیره دوایش برش میاره یک آدم مسافر داره یک آدم یک مشکل تجارتی داره یک آدم به اصطلاح دیگه قرار داره اصلا امی دین مقدس اسلام که ما دائم ملاصایبه میگیم کامل است کمال از این است که هیچ چیز را انکار نداره The speed at which new communication technologies such as the internet were put in place is amazing it has opened a window to the world for the people of Afghanistan in their endeavor to optimize the use of technology, Aina has created a designing wing called Daria, which designed the corporate brand for Roshan Mobile. Here, Afghan boys and girls learn to channelize their creative urge. Man, if the heart of them tells in the gi, a kikira that Afghanistan barang ha mazain sada miki as arzoman. In the new Afghanistan, mass entertainment has staged a triumphant return after years of denial. Today, there are over 40 radio stations with millions of listeners. There are two private and one government television channels to entertain and educate the masses. Here too, women have taken the lead. With the revival of theatre and film, the Afghans have further distanced themselves from an oppressive and painful past. The restoration of Ariana cinema, with support from the French government, is a symbol of the recovery of lost happiness.
I want to be a singer. My dream is to be a pilot. I want to be an actress. I want to be a star universe. It was a dream come true for Afghanistan when after many years it could participate in the Olympics. It sent a 20 member strong party including two women to the oh, Athens yeah. Olympics. Indeed it was a proud moment for the duo Rubina and Fariba who took part in the event. Okay, at Afghanistan no more India ki shwara aur ind khatar ban ke naf sabqat Olympic ke ishtirak kare. It was time to celebrate, cherish the moments and share that joy with the whole world. The air breathes the spirit of freedom. We need more freedom in our education. Hame khoyam ke nawaktan musiqi azad bashad. Mo azadi iqtisadi ne khoyam. As technology broadens its life, a nation is breaking loose and gathering wings to fly.